and his wife represented the
It cannot ignore these conditions of people professing one thing and living something else. They require, first of all, that everything shall be constituted on a heavenly realm. And if the Apostle Peter had not discerned that lie, the church would have been in trouble. If he hadn't discerned what's going on at that altar, had he not been in contact with God to know that lies being told there, then the spirit of life would have left that church. Amen. It will not continue on. You listening to me? It will not. You and I sitting here in the presence of God, you and this television audience, in the presence of God, we need to know in your life individually and in the church con collectively, the spirit of life cannot ignore such conditions. And if we're not in tune with God, so that he can reveal such a thing, then the loss of the church is going to be staggering. I said it's going to be staggering because the Holy Spirit will not manifest himself where such a lie is ignored. That is, that is, it shall be really an expression. The church must be an expression and representation of the Lord Jesus by the Holy Ghost. And this is God's estimate of a church and an individual Christian. That we must be a representation, an expression of Christ by the Holy Ghost. We must be to profess that and willfully live something else. Not only brings death to the Ananias and Sapphira, but if it isn't detected, it'll bring death to that assembly. I'm just as sure this morning that the death that prevails in the church of the living God is because of the tolerance of sin that's in the church. There is enough sin in the average church to make grown men vomit. I'm talking about spirit-filled so-called churches tolerating their so-called sipping saints. There's those that believe that a little adultery isn't wrong if you love one another. There's all kinds of things being taught today as being tolerated. But I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit doesn't tolerate any more in 1987 than it did in AD 01. He's still the nature of God. And this is what the church must express. Every fresh, listen to me, the Spirit spontaneously, the Spirit of God in you spontaneously reproduces the nature of Christ. If you got a hold of something that they call the Holy Ghost and it isn't producing Christ in you, you got the wrong spirit. I said you got the wrong spirit. If, you, if you've if you been I've, all over this country, we have men playing games with the Holy Spirit. I know Dr. Ost from Mexico City, gone to heaven now, built that great work, I guess, next to Cho in Korea, may be the largest work, individual work going down in Mexico City. Wife and I were down there preaching with him. He's been here. He traveled out of Mexico, across the
everything must, and as God, and as everything must, the new beginning, old things passed away, all things become new, it's buried. That is the sad fact.
there's no one preaching. I'm not here to be rich. I'm not here to be a governor. I'm not here to be a great age. I'm here to be a pastor. That's the only reason that we have a people. Whatever your job is, it is only God's way of giving you in something. But don't lose that with that. And here we go. The Bible says promotion comes from the Lord. And the reason some people are never promoted, they never do their work where they are. They never do their work. They live among people that they're never saved. They never witness to. They never tell others about it. So God has to keep them there. But promotion comes from the law. Fulfill our purpose. Say it ever about in that in that clothes washing department. God put you up the cash register. Add to the Holy Ghost. They lie not for their rich, but they lie for what they want. They, they claim that God lived in them. They claim to be filled with the Holy Ghost. If you didn't believe it, they'd give you a little sample of it. If you get them in the right conditions, amen, the world has as much pull on them as anything else. That fool, that that world, that that system, that's an enemy that God governed their lives everywhere else, but in the church of God. You can have no more of the holiness of God than you have of the Holy Spirit. That life, that Holy Ghost, is God's life. That means it's God's holiness. And you can't have any more of the holiness of God than you have of the Holy Ghost. And you can't have any more of the Holy Ghost than you're willing to have of its holiness. You hear me? You can't have any more of the holiness of God than you have of the Holy Ghost, and you can't have any more of the Holy Ghost than you're willing to have of His holiness. <laughs> 